Todd Colbert with us from Northwest Area here on the John Mandola Show. We're talking track and field. Coach, uh, great to see you. And uh, what a year for your, for your group here. We've got some talented young ladies, uh, some talented young men at Northwest Area, and uh, well represented this year. Uh, let's first talk about your, your fella you got who could, who could really whiffle that javelin. Yeah, we have uh, Matt Sachs, who's our uh, main thrower. Uh, he can throw a job. We kind of knew that last year, at the beginning of the last year, we started getting him going. Uh, then at districts last year, he got second place. Like, okay, this is something to build upon. Uh, he went to camp this past summer, and he, he worked out with our throw coach uh, occasionally, like once or twice a week over the summer and even into this fall. Uh, he worked his butt off, and he, he just tried to get stronger and bigger. And and big thing for him is he's not really a, a, a muscle thrower. He's more of a, a finesse thrower, and technique is everything. And that's what we work on lots. Yeah, when so, you, you talk about that te technique and the, and the java, they do come in all shapes and sizes. So, yes, they do. <laughs> uh, talk about that, that technicality and him being a, a heady kind of kid to, to understand that, because that's really challenging. Yeah, that is very good for him because He's a long, lanky kid that has good speed. Uh, we always still use him in our 4x4. Four four. He's also a really good long jumper. He's th third in the district in long jump. And that kind of helps him in the throwing event as well. He uses, he's all about his speed and form and technique. So that, that helps. That's what he needs to do. So. Let's talk about the, the pride at Northwest Area um, with track and field. You know, a bunch of different sports. and and being able to get some of these guys and girls to buy into what you're doing there? Uh, the big thing is this year, for years and years, we, we worked on a cinder track. We worked on a cinder track. And this year, finally, after many, many years of trying to get it, I think we finally put in a, uh, a hard surface good facility that we could work on and work with. And uh, buying into the program is starting to get take hold. Uh, we had a pretty good season with the boys team uh, overall. Uh, we had our numbers are down a little bit, but they are everywhere a little bit for the boys teams. So you know we did okay. Uh, we had some good quality kids come out this year. Matt's only a junior. We have a bunch of juniors on our team. So hopefully trying to build for the future. Our junior high team was fabulous this year. Actually, our boys junior high team was six and one this year. So hopefully we can build on that success. Uh, obviously, when you send some kids to states, that, that gets that buzz gets around, right. and, uh, and it's good for the community, good for the, the young men and the young women. Let's yeah. go over to the ladies' side and talk about some of the talent you have there. Let's go to that four by one team. Uh, the four by one team, uh, actually, last year at districts they came in third place. Um, same team, pretty much, and we lost. We had to change one person out, our, our lead our lead runner. We had to change her out because she's also lead runner from last year is doing the 300 hurdles. And they're actually back-to-back -back events. So she was not going to be able to do that. So we had to change our lead runner. But our other three runners are all seniors. And we knew going in that, to the year that we had the capability of doing okay. Uh, going into districts, uh, we were four seed coming into districts. And there's two teams ahead of us that we knew that we'd beaten before. But we, yeah, we didn't know where we where we were going to stand. But I told them, I said, we're, we're experienced group that knows how to do things. We got to know our handoffs really well, that type of thing, and uh, it panned out in the district. So that's a great accomplishment. The handoffs. Talk about working on them and all the hours that you put into that. And the ladies just saying, "Okay, we got to get this a little smoother, just just a little bit." And you're, you're always coaching up that event. Every day, every day we work on handoffs. We start off with they do they do laps around the track, just doing just working hand to hand, hand hand, running around the track, and we work on the timing of it. We take you know rep after rep after the rep of doing different you know handoff and one good thing about it is that again this team's been around for two years now i've had them together the last three legs have been around in the same order for two years so they pretty much know what i need to do and what they need to do so it's it's very helpful having experience so <laughs> let's head over to the 300 hurdles and it just seemed to be a talent in district two oh, absolutely double a and triple a there are girls absolutely. all over the place on a lot of underclassmen as well yes. Uh, but talk about uh, your young lady. Uh, well, uh, she's she's worked hard. Um, you know, since last year we uh, worked on her a little bit, and she kind of lost. Didn't have, know where she wanted to go. You know, uh, myself and our hurdle coach, we tried to push her to not push her, but get her doing hurdles. And last year, at the end of the year, she came came along. She hit under 50 seconds last year for the first time ever at districts, and she's like, uh oh. Now I can do this. And then she went to camp this past summer, and she started really focusing on that event. 
and the district came along. We knew she was she was there where we needed her to be. Like you said, there's a lot of talent in our district. You know, Trina Barkerlovich from uh, Western Wayne, and she's second seed in the in the in the state right now. So that's you know kind of hard to touch. But I think our girl can get there eventually. She's only a junior, so. Yeah, who knows? I think five double A girls might have been under forty eight or forty nine. Yeah, absolutely, it was, it was outstanding. Yeah, uh, you, you talk about the the feeling of hey, we're just this small little school and we got a bunch of kids going to states. That's got to feel awfully good for for you and your coaches. It, it absolutely does. Uh, you know, I don't want to. We have a good group of kids. They work really, really hard. Um, they were there in the off season. We did off season workouts. We did you know preseason workouts. Miss, they were at every practice. They work. They work really, really hard. They're really heady kids. I'd like to, you know, concentrate on what they need to do. So that's very beneficial. Coach, congratulations. Thank Great you. to see you, and uh, we wish you the best at states this weekend. All right, thank you. Matt Sachs with us here on the Job and Dola Show, a javelin throw for Northwest area. Uh, Matt, between your sophomore year and your junior year, talk about the buy-in for you of just saying, okay, I'm going to work hard now and see what I can do. Coach said you worked your tail off. Yeah, it was really just, uh, I actually joined ninth, or eighth grade year it was, and uh, I just decided to throw because I thought it was the easiest thing that I could do. But uh, once I started to throw the javelin, I was like, this is pretty fun, I like this. So then I started to work a little harder at it, and then I started getting pretty good distances in meets, and then I, I decided then that I wanted to really get good at it. So then I put in work in the summer, like during the season and off season in the summer, I got a uh, practice javelin from my house and I just was looking up videos on YouTube and it's just it's all about form just working that form over and over and over again you talk about that and your coach and I were discussing about you know javelin throwers come in all different shapes and sizes mm -hmm. so for you you're not the biggest kid uh, muscular wise but you look pretty fit and at the same time you are got a little leanness to you mm -hmm. so talk about utilizing your speed and, and and some of the attributes you have to to really whiffle that javelin yeah, yeah. For me, it's it's about the speed because I don't have as much strength as a lot of these kids do. So I try to utilize the speed that I have as much as I can and just get as much momentum and then stop my body as fast as I can and get that momentum into the javelin. Let's talk about your coaches and, and you know them trying to coach you up and you buying into to what they're selling. Um, my coach is is great. Um, this was his second year coaching javelin and. He's willing to put in tons of time for me. He's willing to look at videos and, and help me out, just record me, go over my form over and over and over again. He's just willing to put in a ton of time for me, and uh, I, I really appreciate that. And he has never coached before, like I said. It, this is his second year. He's, hasn't, he wasn't a throwing coach before, but he's just willing to put in a bunch of time to learn learn about it. And it was, it was a journey that we took together to learn about it. Basketball player as well. Uh, yeah. How much do you enjoy that? I love basketball. I, I might enjoy it as much as track, actually. You got a brother, Sam, who plays basketball as well, soccer player. Yeah. Um, talk about uh, the experience of being able to play with him at, with basketball. It was just really awesome, just having my brother that I got to play with since I was a little kid. I used to play soccer with him, and then I stopped playing soccer, and he kept going. But then uh, I also played basketball with him since I was just a little kid, and that's just always been good for me to have someone that I knew, somebody that I could lean on a year older than me, just to help me through some of the tough times, and it, it's been great. You're doing great in the classroom, like a 97, 98 average, 11th in your class, engineering and physics, some of your favorite subjects. Mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about that next step for you. Again, it's your junior year, but you're already thinking, hey, I think I could do this down the road in college. Mm -hmm. I've just always like building stuff, putting things together, and uh, I just thought engineering would be really cool. So. Uh, I, I took the engineering class this year, and uh, I think that's what I want to do in college now. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Some sort of, I'm not sure what kind of engineering, but some sort of it. And uh, I just, I just am, I really like the technical stuff. And I also dabbled a little bit into uh, computer uh, engineering, stuff like that, like coding and software. So You're, you're pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm not sure what I want to do with that yet, but... Let's talk about dad and grandpa as your role models. Mm -hmm. and you probably have a far out person as a role model as well. So, um, he's just my dad has taught me since I was born just the, the value of hard work and just working towards what you want to achieve. And uh, it's really just helping me know that with hard work, really anything you want to achieve is possible. And uh, the people who are successful are the hardest workers. It's it's not natural talent. It's who puts in the work. 
about grandpa? Same thing. It, it's my dad's dad, so he was he passed it right down. And um, I do some odd jobs for him in the summer, and he's just he's also taught me the value of hard work. Well, Matt, keep up the great work. Thank and, you. And uh, we wish you the best state championships. Thank you very much. Ariana Walker with us here in the John and Dola show, show as we talk Northwest Area track and field junior year. Uh, let's talk about your specialty, the 300 hurdles. Um, I'm really excited this year to do them. I didn't really know what to do last year. I tried a few different things. I did the mile, I did the 100 year sprint, I did 100 hurdles, and then I like eventually just came back to 300 hurdles. It was the best thing for me. My talk, coaches knew that too. Talk about gaining confidence as your time went on. So, uh, you know, getting under that 50 mark's a big accomplishment and then building from there. Yeah, um, it was kind of iffy in the beginning. I was running 54, running 52s, and then last year at districts I ran a 48.6, which I never ran under 50 at that point. So then this year was like, it's time to like really break down, get down on your time, try to make it safe, and that's what I did, and I'm really happy about it. Uh, great accomplishment in the 300 hurdles. Uh, yeah. Some stiff competition, though. Uh, Mark Carolla is pretty darn oh, good, yeah. but hey, when she's one of the best in the state, but she's a really nice young lady, much like yourself. So nice, so nice. And she's very, uh, she came up to me, she gave me a hug. I was like, you're amazing, like congratulations. And she was, she was really sweet. Long jump, let's talk about uh, focusing on that and, and what you're able to do in that. Well, actually at Districts, I didn't do too good in my first two jumps. I, I uh, jumped very short, but my third jump, I kind of just did what my coach told me and I got, I lucked out. Field hockey, another sport you do. How serious are you about that? Um, pretty serious. I I play right forward. I start. Um, it's very exciting. It's always you always go to the next game with a positive uh, headspace and works well. Let's talk about some of the things you're doing in school. Honor society, student council, a couple other things. So yeah. you like to stay busy? Yeah, definitely. I feel like it's very good to be active in your community. You know, it's very important. Big family. Uh, oh, I can't even count how many siblings there are, but there's a bunch of them. So take yeah. us through, everybody. What's everybody up to? Okay, so starting from oldest, um, Michael, he has five kids, and he works in Philadelphia. Eric, second oldest, also works in Philadelphia. He has one kid. Uh, then Josh, he's in the military. He uh, has no kids. He's married. And then Rachel, who just had a baby as well, um, she's married. And then Levi, he's also in the military. <laughs> he has a baby. And then there's me. I'm the youngest of them all. And let's talk about your, your parents and, and support you get from them and, and how good it feels to be able to do what you do and have them right behind you. Yeah, my dad was a runner, so he really, really supports me. Um, he wanted me to do distance, but he really supports me in everything I do, especially long jump and uh, 300 hurdles. 4.0 GPA, you're somewhere in the top 15 or 20 of your class. Yeah. Talk about being dedicated in the classroom. Oh, definitely. I feel like our grade is very, very competitive, especially with uh, grades. Uh, we all really want to like be really successful in life, and we're all really striving towards college. So it's nice to be in like a class that's very motivated. How about inspiration from your siblings, uh, being they're older? And I'm sure yeah. you talk to them. They give you a little bit of life experiences, oh, right? Definitely, yeah. Um, my oldest brother went to Penn State, and he really he worked so hard academically. He's a big role model in my life. Uh, Ariana, great to catch up with you. You have a great story. We wish you the best going forward. Thank you.